Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hi, Tina. Hi, Kay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome. How is everyone doing? Oh no! I only have four pieces of watercolor paper left. Oh no! I have some smaller ones, but... I have to get some more paper. Hi, Tina. It's going to take a few minutes for everybody to get in here because I'm a dumbass and I forgot to put the link in the group. So there's that. <laughs> I made the event for this like hours ago, but because, you know, YouTube never gives out notifications, I always put the links in the group for like these. And I completely forgot that I didn't put the link in the group earlier, which is normally I put it in at least a couple hours earlier. And we're doing it a little bit earlier tonight. Normally we would do it around 8 o'clock and we're doing it at 6 o'clock, so people are going to come in and probably be mad. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing it early! And I didn't get a thing! But, yeah. I apologize ahead of time. Hi Susan and Kenzie. I'm just going to gesso up my page and we'll give everybody a few minutes to get in and if they're going to come in, some people probably won't know what's going on. I apologize. I don't know how I skipped over that part, putting the link in the group, but I did. Oopsie poopsie. I think it's because I was so tired today because... I, I've been up since like 6 o'clock this morning and I kind of like was half falling asleep in my chair for a little while while I was trying to <laughs> do some things, <laughs> return some emails and stuff. It started because I was watching something on Netflix and then that made me tired because I, I, I don't like to sit still so the fact that I was sitting still at all is pretty miraculous but then that kind of slowed me down. Netflix's fault. I'm blaming it on Netflix. Bastards. The bastards, how dare they? That's why they that's why they reel you in, because they hypnotize you with their shows and then you fall asleep. It's not Netflix and chill, it's Netflix and sleep. But then they have that thing that comes up that says if you'd like to continue watching, press oh why, why, why? I'm paying for you. If I wanted you to, to find out if I was asleep or disturb me, I, you know, why would I need to pay you for that? Hi, Rome. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Teresa. I don't think it's fair that they do that because that's one of the reasons I, I only recently signed up for Netflix. I used a friend of mine's account for like the longest time. Um, and then I didn't use anything when I didn't have their account anymore. I guess they didn't. I guess they didn't use their account anymore or something or they and so I just didn't get Netflix because it aggravated me that I like to put on a show like you know like uh, like a sitcom or something when I go to bed and just let it run you know really quietly in the background because that helps me sleep well Netflix you can't do that because after about two or three episodes they're gonna say do you hello do you want to watch or not and it's like well, it's on, isn't it? What difference does it make? Does it hurt you to leave it on? Like, what? I'm paying for it. Why? Leave me alone. And there's no way to shut that off. And that's really annoying. And so I didn't have Netflix for a long time because of that. Because I, you know, was annoyed that I had to deal with that.
they have a thing on Netflix you can use called like a sleep timer on net on Netflix that people can set. I don't know why they have. I, I honestly, oh shoot, I never put any clean water in my bucket. Dang it, I'm gonna have to run and put clean water in there. Um, they have a thing on there that if people wanted to set a time, like what? Well, I don't know. I don't understand. Because you can always go back if somebody falls asleep to watch what you missed. I mean, it's not a big deal if that's the reason they do it. Oh, yeah, if you go to the bathroom and then get distracted with other things. Oh, the bathroom's a mess. Or, oh, I need to fold those clothes. And then by the time you go back to the show, I mean, in that case, I guess it's good. But you should be able to shut that off. That's the thing I'm, like, talking about. Like, you should be able to go in and shut that automatic timer thing off. But you can't. You can reset it for a smaller amount of time so that, you know, in case you're not watching it or, you know, or whatever, like you, you know, in case you got distracted, you won't miss your show. But, I mean, how is it, is it really that hard to go back and watch what you missed? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Netflix annoys me. Let me fill this up really quick. So if anybody comes in, tell them I'll be right back. Okay, I had to put clean water in my bucket. Clean water! Hi, Sharon. Okay, ouch. Oh, I just hurt my finger. That hurdy. That was hurdy. Ow. Uh, hi, JD. And anybody else that has come in but the oh but the Netflix thing I was watching today was called I am not into this what was it uh shoot what was the name of it it was a new series it's kind of like stranger things but it was very similar to stranger things kind of um but I really liked it and there's only seven episodes for the first series uh, season. I guess they're just testing it out, you know, to see if people like it. I really like it, and I hope they're going to do another season of it um, because it was really good. There's only seven episodes, and they're only 30 minutes long, which is nice because that gives you a chance to, like, it's seven episodes, so you can kind of binge watch it because that means it's only three and a half hours of your life, you know what I mean, so that if you wanted to follow it, you know, okay, great. And then if for some reason they don't come out with another season, it's, it, you won't feel like, damn it, I, I wasted all that time watching the first season for them to not come out with another one. Um, that's kind of how I look at it, but it's really good. It definitely, it had like a Netflix series has to grasp me, grasp me in the first 30 minutes or I'm done. Cause I ain't wasting my time. You know what I mean? 
So that one definitely did. Um, I was enthralled in it in the la in the first like 15 minutes or less. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. So I liked that. You got a nice new desk lamp because you couldn't see. <laughs> well, that's good. What kind of desk lamp is it? You need to be able to see. If you can't see, then you can't do your arts. But yeah, if you if you get a chance, if you have Netflix, check that series out. It's about a high school girl who realizes her dad her well, she lives with her mom and her brother and her dad killed her killed himself um like the year before. So the series starts with her, you know, um, already her dad had already died like a year ago, but she's still having struggling with it, I guess. And, you know, she don't get along with her mom too well and whatever. But then she, um, like she realizes she has these odd powers where she can kind of like, when she gets angry, she can kind of like 11 in Stranger Things, sort of, um, can like do stuff with her mind. So that's why I was like, oh, this is similar to Stranger Things in a way. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very interesting. I kind of dug it. I said hi to you already, but I'll say hi again. Hi, Sharon. Oh, you changed your name, Kennedy? Oh, great. Now I have to get used to that, huh? <laughs> I knew I'd never seen that name before, but it's not specifically that name, but I, there was somebody else named Kenzie that had come in, oh, like, I don't know, a while ago, and I remembered that, you know, I thought maybe that was who you, like, who that was, and I was like, I was just thinking, oh, maybe that's, you know, that same person. You got one from Walmart. I mean, Target. Do you know what app I need to download to get live chat on smart TV? You can't get the chat on TV, I believe. When you're on a smart TV, I believe you can't get the chat. Because I hear people say that all the time. That I'm... I'm I'm get I'm getting off of here because I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go lay in my bedroom and I don't I have smart and and they say that they can watch it but they can't chat on it so you can chat on your phone you can always just mute uh, or pause the video on your phone and the chat will still work in real time so that's the only thing I think you can do. Do you have a keyboard for your your smart TV, Rome? Because, see, I have a smart TV, and I don't have a keyboard, and it annoys the hell out of me. The only, But I do have an app on my phone that controls the thing, but it doesn't always connect. I don't know. You do have a keyboard? Oh, what kind of smart TV is it? Hi, Laura. Hi, River City. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hold on, sorry.
Okay, sorry. Having a mild Crohn's day today. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Yeah, Kenzie is Kennedy. Kennedy is Kenzie. She split her personality again. <laughs> Not Lizzie Borden. What's the other one? Carl the Cricket. <laughs> Do you still have your other accounts, or is this just, is this a, the same account, just the, the name is different? Uh, did you say what TV you had, Rome? Um, what kind of TV, do you, oh, never mind, I see it, that too, Wi-Fi sucks. Oh, you have a Samsung. Is that what mine is? No. I don't know. No, it's not a Samsung. See, I was under the impression that I could use a keyboard with my TV. And everything I've done, like, I, I don't know. I'll have to look online. I haven't looked into it enough, maybe. So. I'm going to message Janie and make sure I let her know Mary Jane and Haley Sparkle Stitch and Stick from the UK. Did I miss anybody else that's come in? Hi, Erin. I'm good. How are you? Trying not to let myself get stressed out about things. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's scary here too, but don't don't let it scare you. Uh, how old are you, Haley? Don't let it scare you. Just stay informed and know the deal and, you know, pay attention to health officials and you'll be all right. You're 38? Oh, okay. I thought you were younger. Because your picture, I could barely see it because on my screen it's really little and it looked like you were, like, it looked like you were, it might have been, a, might have been a teenager, you know, like a young, and I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't want you to, when you said that, freak out, but, but still, I mean, regardless, nobody should freak out. It's not, you know, it's not worth it. I'm more stressed about my financial situation than anything at this point, but. Hi, Ray. You're going camping this weekend? Ooh, that sounds fun. Right, make sure the campgrounds are open that you go to, Sharon, just in case. 
which I'm sure they would be. I don't know why they wouldn't, but just be sure. so Because I know you drive a couple hours to get there. I would just call ahead so you don't go all the way down there. Eh, there's nothing wrong with being stuck in the house. It's better being stuck in the house now than like back in the 80s and early 90s when you didn't have anything to do. There was no internet back then. I mean, you know, I mean, we're, most of us, I mean, if you think about it, most of us stay in the house pretty much anyway. Do you know what I mean? Most of us, at least in my, most people that I know in the craft community, we're pretty much homebodies anyway. So staying home for a little while is not really that big of a deal. Not to me. I, I certainly don't care. You know, I mean, I'll still go to the grocery store, but I'm not going to go during peak hours, but and unfortunately, our grocery stores all decided to start closing at 8 o'clock, which to me was kind of stupid because that means that everybody has to do everything they can to fit in their grocery shopping. You know what I mean? Whereas I usually would go at night when there was not so many people in the store. And so now I have to go and figure out when the best time to go is, you know, because... <sighs> That's because I kept thinking, oh, I'll just go at night because that's when I usually would go anyway. But, you know, right. I only go to the doctor, too. I go to the doctor. I go to the grocery store. That's it. So, you know, put it into perspective as, you know, you're just having a staycation and you're going to be home and there ain't nowhere to go anyway. Any, and the, the nice thing about living in this day and age is anything you really need, you can pretty much get online, you know, um... And so it'll, you know, it'll be all right. And you always have people on the internet. If you're a part of the craft communities, obviously, you have plenty of people to talk to. And there's lots of live streams going on. And um, on top of that, if we have craft supplies, how the, how the hell can we ever be bored, right? <laughs> I mean... Yeah... Most restaurants are closed. I don't really eat out, so it doesn't matter to me. You know, it doesn't affect me. That, you know, I understand some people are affected. I feel bad for the restaurant industry because for some of them, you know, that's... I feel bad for a lot of businesses, including my own, because, you know, that's uh, going to be hard. I mean, because, I mean, I can very, very easily lose my house. So I'm really hoping that they put a thing in place to uh, suspend mortgages and rent payments. Because I would really, really, that would help me. Yeah, to all of us who hoarded our craft supplies, you mean? <laughs> now we have plenty to do for the next year. <laughs> Not that we'll be here, you know, be home for the next year, but you know what I mean. Who's playing along with us today? We're missing some people, and that's probably because the link went up so late. Oh, that's good, right? That they want you to stay. 
but don't you work from home anyway? What do you do again? I forget. I think, I know you work from home, but I forget what you said. I said, I forget what you told me you did. Hi, Vanessa. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello. And Laura's here. Wait a minute. Why aren't you a, aren't you usually a mod, Laura? Why aren't you lit up in blue? Or am I, th am I thinking of something else? I could have sworn you were a mod in here. And why? I don't know why I thought that. Maybe you... Maybe you weren't and my brain just fried. I don't know why. I, I felt like your name was in blue all the time and now it's not or something. You're doing cross-stitch? What's counted cross-stitch? What does that mean? I know how to do cross-stitch, but I've never, I, I've heard of counted cross-stitch, but I don't know what it is. I meant to ask somebody what that was a long time ago. You're the one always getting moderated. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking of somebody else. I don't know why. But hi, Laura. Hi, Amy. So Sharon's playing, Michelle's playing, JD's playing, Kennedy's playing, Rome is playing, Tina's playing, and Laura's playing, and Aaron's playing, and Christine, hi Christine, Christine's playing. Oh, okay. You work for a milk broker? That's interesting. Why did I forget that you worked for that? I don't know why. You made the smallest order? Huh. That's weird that you would. That you would have smaller orders right now. And not larger orders, considering. Hi, Susan. Susan's going to play. Woohoo! <laughs> You haven't arted in a while? How come? Usually you do, you do it pretty often. On fabric and have to count your stitches. No stamped image. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, you basically... You're, you have a, you have a kind of a pattern, but it just gives you like, okay, you need to do six stitches of this one, six X's of this one, that type of thing. And it has like the number in, like, I don't know, but I've never done a pattern of cross stitch. I learned my sister, um, my oldest sister, she, uh, taught me years and years and years ago when I was a teenager to do cross stitch and she used to do the tops of uh, mason jar lids and you would put like, I'm sure you guys have seen them where you, you do the cross stitch and then you put the little bit of batting underneath of it and you put it under the lid top or whatever. Well, I thought they were so cute and she taught me how to do it and gave me some stuff to get started and, and just, just said, you know, cross stitch whatever you want. You, it's kind of like, it's kind of like drawing. So she would do like, you know, an, a, like a, a word or something like what, whatever was in the jars. Like, so if she put, you know, whatever, you know, if she put candy in the jar, it would say candies and she might like cross stitch a little, you know, little makeshift candy or something. I don't know. And so I, I did it, you know, like that. And then I, was sitting there and I was like, well, I'm just going to cross stitch, you know, this or that. And so I would do little scenes. I would do little mountains and I would do like a sun and I would put like a little stream coming through and stuff like that, like little scenery, little tiny sceneries I'd make. Um, and I didn't know that there was patterns and all that you can get because like I said, I just learned from her and I just did it like that. So I didn't, I haven't ever done it with a pattern. I have a kit to do one. And at some point, point, I'd like to do it. But I kind of like doing it that, the you know, just kind of making it up as you go along. It's been months since you played Mixed Media Mashup. Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, I like the, the latch hook rugs too. I have a latch hook rug um, 
that I want to do too. I think I kept that one. I do have one that I got on eBay many years ago, like five or eight years ago, that was a vintage, it's a vintage poodle latch hook rug, but it doesn't have any of the yarn, which is okay because I'm going to make my own. You know, I'm going to take, you know, yarn and I'm going to make the, it has like the colors, like, you know, of course the, the, the thing, the base of it is dyed with the colors that it's supposed to be. And they're very like seventies colors, you know, because it's a vintage one and I'm going to change it and I'm going to make the background like a pale pink and then make a hot pink poodle, you know, and use like some, maybe some glitter, um, yarn or something but I'll cut the pieces to the right size and then I'll just do it that way because it's not like a big one it's like it's probably like like that big so I want to make it like a wall hanging for my bedroom yeah I can't crochet or do any kind of embroidery or any of that but cross stitch is easy and that's why I tell people all the time whenever because I you know sometimes I'll sell the cross stitch kits in my auctions and stuff and cross stitch is like really easy all right I guess we're going to get started now I wanted to give a little bit of time because I know I put the link up so late because I totally forgot and I was like oh wait I never put the damn link up didn't it used to be baby Kennedy something baby Kennedy crafting or something Oh, that's not, wait a minute, Kenzie, now there's K's, wait, which one is it? <laughs> is that you? Wait, is there Ken Kennedy and K's? Kenzie, wait, who changed their name? K's Cottage. No, you're not Kennedy. <laughs> Kenzie is Kennedy. Who's K's Cottage? I forget what my name used to be, but I changed it to K's Cottage. For some reason, I got the two of you mixed up. <laughs> Y'all are confusing my brain. And my finger's going off. That's Laura. All right, we're going to pick the first card. Add strips of paper. So add strips of paper. Where the hell are my strips of paper at? Um, is that them? Let's see. Well, it's, yeah, see, I keep my strips of paper underneath of a uh, finger. Underneath of my desk. Let me see, I need some Mod Podge. Is there anybody that's never played before? I didn't ask that question. If you never played before, all we're doing is following the prompts. Um, this may not stick very well. So I just pick the cards. I pick 10 of them and with every card we do whatever it says on it and you can use um, any kind of 
sturdy paper, cardstock, cardboard, watercolor paper, whatever you got. And just do what it says on the prompts. And if you don't have something that, you know, if we pick a prompt and you're not familiar or don't know what, yeah, don't have what it is on there, you could just improvise with something else. Hey, this is running, purple running off my page. You can improvise in, with something else or ask for suggestions in the chat for what you can substitute it with. But I put the prompts up in the ticker up there. So if you need to know which one we're on, it's the last one you'll see in the ticker. Unless I forget to put it, forget to put one in there, which happens too. Did you guys see that video of Winnie and Willow today? They were being silly. If I put the glue on the back, it'll be a little easier. I didn't even get it wet. It's bleeding onto the front. Remember what I used on this? Probably my oxide sprays or something. Something. Clean that off and find some other things. I like to save all these strips of paper. I don't know which side I like better. That one or that one. I don't know. But we're not really worrying about what it looks like in the end. We're just kind of being loosey-goosey and just sticking things down wherever and whatever happens, happens kind of thing. And we'll just see what we get at the end. I take it everybody will be doing a lot of art in the coming weeks. There will be a, a big influx of shared art, live streams, videos on online which will be pretty pretty cool I think it's a good chance for anybody that's not had a chance to do a lot of art because they work a lot or whatever to be able to do some things that and get caught up on doing some things in the art world crafty world Hey, don't wrinkle, you bastard. Not fair. Some of these thicker papers can be a little ornery. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Yeah, there'll be a lot of babies being born in the, in about nine months. <sighs> Good Lord. That's all we need. Whoa. We don't need no more kids in this world. Stick them back in. Asia. All right, paper, stop giving me problems. Stick your butt down. This paper is thicker, that's why it's having trouble getting down. Let's see if I have any thinner pieces down here. my hair shedding I'm getting my spring shedding my winter coat and getting my spring coat <laughs> you're, you're wanting your youngest daughter to get pregnant <laughs> Is she trying, actively trying to get pregnant? Stop popping up. What's the matter with this thing? The audacity of it. Stop it. Annoying. Annoying. Yeah, I'll shove this on there too. Why not? Huh. Well, I want the green side down actually. Like that. The blue side is up. <clears throat> oh, she is? Well, hopefully she does.
She has a better chance right now <laughs> than anything, I guess, being home all the time. had to make supper. That was a fast supper making. What did you make? Did you bring some for the rest of the class? You're behind by eleven of by eleven of them. Wow! <laughs> I knocked it over. Dang it! Popping up. Annoying. Annoying. Sometimes it helps to put your get your finger all gluey, rub it down. It'll stop it from popping up too much. If it's a thicker piece of paper, sometimes they like to be ornery and not stick down. I think I just want one more piece over here, and that's about it. And. Angela, how are you doing? If you're just coming in, we're doing mixed media mashup. You can join in if you'd like. Uh, there's several people that are playing along. It's very easy to do. Just need a piece of paper, cardboard, cardstock, chipboard, whatever you got on hand, and we put the prompts up in the we pick cards and each card has a different prompt and I put them up in that ticker up above and everybody just does it and we just kind of see what happens at the end and we end up with a 
piece of paper that looks it's all painted up and layered in the background and looks pretty cool usually Stampin' Up Inks smear. What do you mean by smear? Do you have a, Kennedy, do you have a cushion? I mean, not a cushion. You said cushion. I meant to say pillow. Do you have a pillow? I have a pillow on my on my other chair. And it's very helpful if you have like a pillow you can put. And the first time you sit on it, it might be weird because you're like, it's, you know, if it's, if it's on the puffier side, but it'll eventually conform to your butt and be perfect. <laughs> it, but like the first few times you sit on it, I mean, it'll be, com it'll be comfortable regardless, but it'll get better as you sit on it is what I mean. But I have a pillow because my chair oh, across the room, the one that I have hurts my butt so bad. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because they're not permanent inks, and they're... So, water, Mod Podge, anything that is going to make those run. You have a pillow on your chair? Yeah. You can get pillows at like Dollar General for like five bucks. You get like a two pack of pillows or you get like, well, I don't remember if it's a one pack or a two pack, but it's really kind of cheap and that'll work. I've done that just to have a pillow, you know, for my chair. <laughs> I just switched the pillow out actually today on my other chair because I had one on there for a long time but it started out it was a thin crappy pillow and that's why I put it on the chair but as I sat on it it got worse and I was like it's not as cushy as it used to be so I had another pillow in my closet it was just a cheap pillow and I grabbed it today and put it on there and it was so much more comfortable probably why I was falling asleep in my chair because it was comfy You use a folded up blanket. Yeah, that works too. Especially if it's a cushy kind of blanket. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Does anybody need me to wait for the next prompt? Has everybody got their papers glued down and it's pretty much dry? I'll wait if, if somebody needs me to wait. I don't mind.
I left a piece out of my box. Let's get in there. A letter? Ooh, I get a letter. Cool. All right, I'll pick the next one. Ow. Banging stuff around. We're gonna apply paint with a credit card. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Look what I just did. Dang it. Let me rewrite it, because I just, I don't know how I did that, because all I did was hit one key, I thought. <laughs> Must have hit the wrong damn key. I better not do that again. I won't remember the prompts next time. All right, let me get some colors of paint. Some different color purples. And a card. And some dried paint that's aggravating me. Get out of there. The noise. Oh, I see how it is. Now I'm not getting a letter. She's found a replacement, Stacy. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm only kidding.
color I don't have? I don't have like a magenta color. I was just looking for one. I just realized that. kind of weird. Crafting on your recliner? I had to do that when I had surgery years ago. The only reason I didn't like it was because I didn't have access to my craft stuff. Otherwise, like if I could put a recliner right here, <laughs> one that was one that had wheels on it though, because I'd have to move it out of the way. They do make like office chairs that kind of like are more plushy. They're smaller than a recliner. It's kind of like a mini recliner. And it's got wheels on the bottom of it. I need one of those. But your yeah, recliner wouldn't fit in here. I had a recliner in the room when I first made this my room. I had a recliner like in the corner, but I had to get rid of it because I needed the space for things. Oh, I bet it's comfortable. Anybody need more time? Messy, messy. Hi, Susan. Hi, Lori. Grabbing a big Newton. I have big Newtons. I didn't ask if you were ready. I asked if anybody need more time. <laughs> so there. <laughs> And you can't have my Fig Newtons. They're mine.
Hi, Janie. <coughs> you were walking with your pup, with your doggie. All right, next card. Stencil. Stencil. Oh, you're trying to find your paint? Uh-oh. Well, we're only three. We only did three. I'm sure you can do them fairly quickly. Well, how do you lose your paint? Isn't that that's something that is hard to misplace, I would think? Unless you just rearranged your room or something. I'm going to use this one here. What color? Mm, maybe like this teal color yeah maybe we'll do that Oh, you were trying to find your credit card, your painty credit card. Well, just grab the one out of your wallet. It's not like you're going to need it right now anyway. <laughs> With everything going on. <laughs> well, actually, you might if you're shopping online. Excuse you. Why are you... I feel the paint there. I feel paint on at the bottom of this thing. It's just not coming down for whatever reason. I don't know. Beats me what the heck's going on. Excuse you. Squeeze you. This one. I was just trying to pick up some of the paint on there with a something. I don't know if it will, even though I wet it. I don't know. I might have dried it. No, it did. It did. Thank you. 
see. showed up kind of sort of you know who I feel bad for in all of this coronavirus coronavirus stuff is those couples that don't really like each other. <laughs> They're on like the verge of divorce. It's <laughs> gonna be a lot of divorce that happens too after this. Can you imagine? <laughs> the ones that are like, well, I could tolerate her because I'm never home. I work a lot anyway. <laughs> and I could tolerate him because, you know, he's never home and I can, you know, and I'm off doing my own thing or whatever. Yeah, exactly. something or other. This little, this little guy.
wouldn't get much off of this one, but we will try. Is there anybody that needs a few more minutes? Hi, Janie. Oh, I thought you just came back in or something. I saw the heart and I thought you said, hey, everybody, but I'm reading wrong. Are you playing along with us, Janie? Literally painted my entire nail. Manage that. All right, I will pick the next card. What if I just didn't tell you what it was? I just kept it to myself. Hi, Julie. Add some tissue or napkin. That is the next card. Hmm. I'm gonna go grab some tissue or napkin or something. tissue. I had a couple of chunks of that on there.
paper. Put some that on there. Shoop. She'll lap it on there. Can I get up there? Don't do that. So, I'm going to put this one here. Let's stick that one there. Nope, I lied. Yeah, stay there. I thought it was not going to fit that way. Where the sun don't shine. Hi, Gail. Jamie, he just got up. <laughs> when did you go to bed? You must have went to bed really late or this morning or this afternoon or whenever it was. Lazy day.
Does anybody need more time on the tissue one? You slept, you sl still slept all day? Oh, you went to bed early last night and still slept all day? Holy moly. Are you not feeling good? Okay, I'll wait. I'll count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's not tissue piece. That's okay. It's always a hot mess in the middle of it. You should know that by now. By the time you get to the fifth prompt, it looks like crap. And then as you get to the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, it starts to even itself back out again. That's just how it works. tired girls go play I'm being stalked well that's okay a hot mess is good every now and again you still have five more six more prompts to go Let me know when you're done, JD. What are you stalkers doing in the hallway? Why don't you go play? <laughs> Hold on, let me see what they're doing. Doing? What are you doing? You're both standing there. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to come say hi? Come on. You're just lonely. You're bored of each other. Come on, Smiley. Come on. Come here, baby. Come on. You want to come too? Come on, baby. Don't be scared. It's okay. I'm not a drill. Oh God, you're heavy, Willow. You're like you're like a fatty girl. You're just a fatty girl. Oh, you're so heavy. You're light and the other one's heavy. Let me move this. The girls want to say hi. They were being shy. They were bored of each other, I think. <laughs> yeah? What are you doing? Hi. Willow needs a haircut. Huh? You need a haircut? Ow, you're scratching me with your talons. Nah, don't you put your face in the water now. Be good girls, okay? Stay out of the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. You want your belly rubbed? Okay, I'm rubbing your belly. All right. Stop it. I'll rub your belly. And then Willow wants you to love it. Who's your kissy, kissy girl? Who's that kissy, kissy girl? <laughs> Is it kissy girls? Is that my kissy girls? Yeah, it's a kissy, kissy girl. It's a kissy, kissy girl. She's a kissy, kissy girl. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me go get into things, okay? Yeah. Fluffy girl needs a bath. Yeah. 
Sissy needs a bath, huh, Winnie? She does. She needs a bath. Yes, Winnie wants all the attention. I know. I know. Winnie wants all of it. Okay, let Sissy have some love, okay? Yes, Sissy, stop putting your head in my hand. <laughs> your sister is a glutton. She wants all the attention, huh? And poor look at that little fluffy face. <laughs> little fluffy face. <gasps> little fluffy face. <gasps> little fluffy face. <laughs> You don't have a fluffy face. No, um, you can't go under your sisters. <laughs> this is not acrobatic time. Yeah, are you giving me kisses? Oh, sweet Willie. I have to do now. We're going to do crafts, okay? You guys can't be up here. I know, Winnie. Okay. No, no, no. Don't drink that. No, ma'am. She just drank out of my paint bucket. Luckily, it was the clean side, but ew. No, ma'am. You got your own water, you weirdo. No, ma'am, you can't have that, Chucky. I turn my... I, I Don't look at her for two seconds, and she's over there licking out of the bucket, you nasty thing. Gross. Yeah, it's gross, Mama. I know. I know you didn't mean it, but don't do that, okay? You got your own. Yeah, you got your own water. It's like, but it's not as good as that water, Mama. That water's new. It's got a different smell to it. <laughs> All right, it's time for you guys to go. All right, come on. Come on, I get you. All right, but, oh, you're so fat. Come here, fatty girl. All right, you guys are going to go out and play, okay? All right, be good girls. Go play with your toys. You got a whole bucket of toys. Go play, mamas, okay? Be good girls. Go play. Good girls. Good girls. Take her sleeping like a good boy. Okay. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> she was licking out of the water bucket. Ugh, I swear. They're a hot mess. Alright, next card. I'm assuming you're done, JD. Hopefully by now. Add circles. Goes. Um, this will be nice. I'll do it with this here. Dip it into some paint. Uh, let's see. Let's do a metallic. Everybody's having the fifth prompt blues right now. <laughs> it happens every time. It'll be all right.
too much paint left over. Excuse you. Back here. some other cycles. Mm, what color? Little ones. Maybe some little ones like this. dark purple. Hey, none of that. Right, circles, circles. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Rinka. Hi, Jude. I might have made my circles a little too heavy. A couple of them, which are going to take forever to dry. So I'll just kind of do that. Get some of them to lighten up a little bit. Too much paint.
Thank you, Rinka. Does anybody need more time? Hi, Lance. Knocking things over over here. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, he's five. <laughs> Does he like doing art? Hi, Denise. You better plug your phone in, lady. Cool that you like to do art. He should do mixed media mashup with us sometime. Uh, usually I do it around 8 o'clock, 8.30, but tonight I did it a little earlier. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he might, it might be, it might be too late for him, I don't know. Yeah, this is it today. <laughs> yeah, I did it today instead of yesterday. And then I did it a little earlier today than normal. So usually I do it Wednesdays around 8-ish, 8 8.30. All right, let's pick the next card. Use ink. And you can use, um, you know, ink pads, or you can use ink straight out of the bottle, or spray ink, ink sprays, whatever you want to call them. Whatever you got. Um, let's see. Um,
purple and black. I have a purple metallic ink. Um, let's see. Oh, look what I have. What if I ink, put some ink on it? I've not played with this yet, and it's been sitting in there forever. Very metallic -y. I bet it would make good splatters. Well, there's not enough on there, I don't think, for that. I haven't even tried it. I don't know why it was sitting there, and I haven't. with it. Let's get a different color. cool. I can't get it open. I need Lance's help. He's probably stronger than me. I think I got it. Oh, well, that's something. The little thing fell off. It's not gonna work if it falls off. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna try to pour a drop or so out. There we go. Cause I can't even find a pipette in it right now. Anyway. Bye, Gail. This makes fun lines. I don't know if you can see them, but they it makes fun lines. the lines it made. Fun. Fun! Your internet is sucking. Well, that's not good. I was read, reading this thing where it said that people's internets might suck right now because of everybody being home. Um, you might be able to call your internet provider and they might upgrade you you know if you complain they might upgrade you because 
there's a lot of people that are home right now and using a lot of internet. Where did I get it? Oh, it's just this, one of those silicone basting brushes, you know? I think I got it from, like, Walmart. World Market. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. World Market, it was on clearance for, like, a dollar. But you can get them at, like, dollar stores usually have them. Walmart has them. But it's, like, for basting barbecue and stuff. But I, I got it strictly to use in my art, and then I never used it. And then I just looked over and saw it there, and I'm like, oh, that's been sitting up in that thing forever. <laughs> Might as well use it. Yeah, the, I mean, who they might be open, Rinka, but it's probably not the best idea to go there. Whatever you need, uh, you probably could get online, right? Of course, online stores will be open. They'll always be open. They're not going to close. They have no reason to close. The only reason regular stores are closing is to keep people out of them so that people will stay home. So online stores are going to be doing great. <laughs> I don't think Hobby Lobby has an online store, do they? I know they didn't a while ago. I don't know if they do now, though. Maybe they do. That was a while ago. Thank you, Lance. All right. Does anybody need more uh, time? Oh, they do have an online store? Okay, because I don't. I remember like a long time ago, I I looked and they didn't have one yet, so they must have done it in the last like five or six years. Maybe. T Maybe in the last 10 years, I don't know. But I remember looking on their site a long time ago and seeing they didn't have an online story. I mean, they still don't have scanners for their registers. They still type everything, which to me is ridiculous. <laughs> Well, if, if I ever get my scanner cleaned off, I usually try to scan my mixed media mashups as much as possible, but I might end up cutting it up before then. But I do have a bunch that I haven't even scanned yet that are over there. All right. Use blue. Blue. I've been using blue. This thing telling me to use blue for it. You can't tell me what to do. Alright, let's see. I'll use a dark blue, maybe. And a bright blue. And, ooh, I got some metallic blue. I got some blues. I got the blues. Um, I think I'll do some stenciling because I'm going to put some. Do 
those with some of the dark blue. Ooh, that's not very nice. Is it? Oh no. It's like snot. Ew. Ew. And that's a big snot too. Okay, that's alright. <laughs> pick through my paint because I got boogers. Paint boogers! thing just a big paint booger yeah pretty much great fabulous oh man I like this color why did that do this to me right now some of it out anyway. Try to salvage the paint as much as possible. I don't know how the paint boogers get in there or why they form. It's weird. It's a little weird. Cooperating. Not cooperating. Hi, Kathleen. some metallic blue. Let's do that. And some stars. We need some stars. Ugh. Wasn't expecting that to happen. It just 
kerplunked. Stencil. Whoops, sorry. didn't really show up. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, get back here. I got paint between my fingers. Anybody need more time on the blue prompt? pain from your surgery I hope you feel better third back surgery holy moly what are they doing reconstructing your entire back I hope this is the final one Rinka, are they part of other groups, other craft groups, or are they just random people? Hi, Katie B. Add inspirational words. I'm going to use a paint pan for that.
Oh, if it's friends of friends that are like, like if, if it's somebody that you've, if you, you know, have friends that you added to your actual friends list, sometimes their friends will see a suggested, a suggestion that, you know, their friend is friends with you. So they'll think, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's Facebook puts up suggestions sometimes of people that are associated with other people that you're on, that are on your friends list. So it's possible that somebody is friend requesting you just for the simple fact that you're in the art community kind of. <laughs> Jamie's getting some peace and quiet. <laughs> Is everybody ready for the next one?
chips relieve stress with all the crunching. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> They're my stress relief. They're my anti-anxiety. Gotta have my chips. Oh, God. That's like when I was in the grocery store. I, I was talking to Barbara on the phone and I said, well, during the pandemic, there's no calories in any of the food. You can get what you want and eat what you want. There's no f calories during a pandemic. It's a proven fact. <laughs> Who are you calling a ho-ho? Use household stamps. Household stamps. Yeah, don't get smart with me, Laura. <laughs> she thinks I'll fall for that one. Oh, but it's a song. Yeah, I've done um I've done some um reviewing of Arteza stuff. I have Arteza stuff too. They they've sent me stuff in the past to review. I'm planning on getting some more stuff from them soon because they have some th new things that I want to try. Um, uh, what was it? Oh, they have some paint pens that they got that I want to try. Uh, and there was something else. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. There was like two new things. That's what I was kind of waiting for. They had asked me a little while ago to do another review and said, you know, pick out whatever you want. And I, but I didn't because it, I didn't want to just pick out. Thing, like I have enough like things I, I don't know I wanted to wait till they had something new you know that was maybe that I didn't something that would you know I can really review or whatever and I know the paint pens and then there was something else um, yeah mica powders that, that was one of them um, but I think there was uh, did they have foils or something yeah, I think they have foils or something. They have a few new things that I was interested in, but I know the paint pens I was definitely interested in. Um, I'd have to look on their site. Ooh, bubble wrap. Can't not have our bubble.
bubble wrap now, can we? We've got to have that. We'll do some bright pink bubble wrap. Uh-oh, don't tell me I'm getting a snot in this one, too. A little one. Oh, really? Oh. They're refillable. Yeah, I guess any paint really, any paint pen is refillable. As long as you have like uh, fluid acrylics or some sort of thin acrylics or those, you probably use those inks, the, the, um, oh yeah, there's a clump right there. The acrylic inks or whatever. bubbles. <laughs> push too hard. Pink paint boogers. Better than green paint boogers. Pen is on CNN. <laughs> Amy's getting all hot and heavy over Sean Penn. I'll use my corrugated cardboard stamp. Paint booger time. <laughs> what time is it? Lance, what time is it? <laughs> Paint booger time. <laughs> what kid don't like boogers? Boogers are awesome. When you're a kid. <laughs> they are icky. But not paint bookers. Paint bookers are fun. Need to kill the boogers. What the boogers ever do to you? Booger murderer. <laughs> Oh, I 
think her video is way behind Kathleen's. Because I said that a long time ago. When I said... Let me see. All right, is everybody ready for number 10? Number 10. Oh, let me take my medicine. Let me take my medicine for number 10. Mine's really colorful now, jeez. Number 10, number 10. Add paint or ink splatters or drips. I almost typed it into the chat instead of into the ticker thing. Optionals after that. Mm -hmm. Don't want to use that. No, give me some gold paint. Splatter with some gold. With some gold. Real gold. It's not fake gold, it's real. They make real gold paint. And real gold leaf. I don't know who would want to paint with real gold paint, but... You know what would work? Maybe that thing. I'll use what's on here, but then I want to try that thing in me. That's probably going to be a mess. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I think that thing is going to fling all over the place and I'll have paint everywhere because it's so like loose. So I'm probably just going to stick to this because I don't want to be cleaning off my ceiling gold paint. <laughs> Um, no, I probably should, but we have a file that I believe is supposed to be up, up, updated. If not, I'll have to update it. We have a file in the group that has the prompts for all the things, but I'm not sure if it's been up, updated in a long time. It's 
Speaking of, where's Shazzy been? Janie, do you know? I haven't seen her in like at least a week, I would say. Right? Or am I... Probably be smart thing to do to put them in the damn video description, wouldn't it? I just think that's smart. Let me move that out of the way because I'm going to splatter onto that too. After I already cleaned off the brush, dummy. If I have some paint left, I might as well do it. Tim Holtz flicky brush, but when I don't feel like getting paint on my hands, this is the best way to do it. splatters on the other one too with the remainder of the paint which is everywhere oh, I clean it up what's the point I'm just gonna come in here and put some big splatters I'm not even gonna tap off the excess excuse you stay up. Hi Esther. Oh really? I tell everybody if they if they start from number one and complete all of them up till the current one, I'll send them something. Um, in the mail. Keep in mind right now, I can't afford to do anything. So, because right now, um, my finances are not the greatest. All right, I'm going to put the optionals up for everybody. And I'll pick those all together. Let's see. Add hearts is the first one. Or number 11. These are optional. You don't have to do them. Add stickers. Oops. And add paper. And that's it. Let me put some paint away here. I 
if you're done with yours, post a picture in the in the group so we can all check it out. And this way, y'all can go over to the group and check out everybody's works of art. It's like I missed a whole area right here with no splatters like whatsoever. Very weird. I can change that. Share some of the splatters off of this that are still wet. There we go. That works. <laughs> Thank you. You just need a spot where the paper sits on. I am. I screwed it all up, didn't I? I fixed it, though. I fixed it. Tell him he should be proud of me. I fixed it. I fixed it all up nice. See, now there's some splatters in there. I'll send it to him and he can fix it. <laughs> Men are good with splattering, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm going to get off of here, but I'm going to come back on. I'm just going to clean up my mess here, but I'll come back on about, uh, about 9, 9.15. If you guys are still around, and we'll do some other art type of stuff. Um... We'll do, uh, whatever. Whatever. I'm just going to clean up my mess. And probably grab something to eat really quick. Yeah, when you watch the video replay, all the prompts will be there. So if you need a quick rundown of the prompts, just come to the last, like, minute of the video. Pause it and as you, you know, as you write down the, the prompts. Um... And this way you'll have them if you need them. But yeah, if you're around in about 30 minutes, I'll be back on. I'm going to grab something to eat real quick and clean up my mess because I've got a mess. And then I'll come back on and we'll do something crafty-like. What should we do? I don't know. We'll think of something. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Poodle pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.